first science, science is about rational explanations. I'll side there with uh, Steve Crothers um, and physics. Uh, and science is divided in two parts. One is called physics, the other one is called philosophy. Uh, physics deals with objects, uh, philosophy deals with concepts. Physics deals with uh, causes, physical causes, and uh, philosophy deals with uh, uh, concepts, with, uh, with reasons, I'm sorry, with reasons. And uh, so physics is that branch of science that deals with objects and with causes, and that's what we have to explain. We have to give a rational explanation. Some people say, well, isn't the word rational an opinion? My answer is no. Uh, there is an objective definition for the word rational, and it's very different, and I think that's going to be one of my questions here that they're going to be asking me. Um, uh, there's a difference between, there's a difference between um, a um, saying that someone is right and someone is wrong, someone is correct, someone is incorrect, this is false, and this is true, that's, that's all opinionated, and on the other hand we have rational. And rational is not opinionated, it's observer free. Um, rational, we just need to have at least three elements. Uh, first element to show that uh, rational is objective is that first, if you're going to mention an object, that you can draw it. If you can't draw it, it's not an object. That's simple, because an object, by definition, is that which has shape. If it has shape, there's no reason, no excuse not to be able to draw it. And of course, you can't draw space-time, you can't draw time, you can't draw energy, because those are not objects. Second, we do not move concepts, we do not move energy, we cannot move forces, we cannot move masses, because those are not words that represent objects. Only objects can move. So that's the second part of rationality. And the third part of rationality is that the theory follows from the hypothesis. I, I give the initial scene, I say here's the dog, here's the table, I describe the initial scene, from there I move on to the theory. The theory has to follow from the elements that I've included in the hypothesis. I cannot say this is a point, and then when I'm over here, I use the location. And I say, hold it, I thought you said the point, well, or the dot. Uh, that was the point. And he says, no, well, that was over here, but now over here I'm going to use location. It's not consistent. So, so the theory has to follow from the hypothesis. Those are the elements of a uh, rational theory. Uh, excuse me. So the uh, word rational is objective, and uh, we're looking at rational explanations. And that's what I think physics is about.